Hi, I'm Pure Excellence, the most important political mind this side of the United States. But let's just explore this idea. I'm going to pass it to my homeboy, James. James, go ahead and take this away. One, the Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community presents. How long can Trump keep objecting to 2020 election results with suits? President Trump deals with a set of looming due dates next month to wrap up his difficulties to the 2020 election results as the country prepares for Inauguration Day on January 20th. Trump who's refused to concede the race to Joe Biden and does not appear likely to do so has submitted a series of election suits declaring official misbehavior and other improprieties in vital swing states that he's predicted to lose. The two newest came Monday in Pennsylvania and Wednesday in Michigan, simply days after Trump's individual attorney and previous New York mayor, Rudy Giuliani, suggested as numerous as 10 matches were possible. The first deadline dealing with Trump is the safe harbor date developed in federal law following the disputed election of President Rutherford B. Hayes in 1876. Under the Electoral Count Act of 1887, States have till six days before the Electoral College fulfills to resolve any election-related disagreements and complete any recounts of the votes cast. This year, that date is December 8, after which states no longer have to consider any further concerns and can accredit their governmental election results. The huge bulk of states have laws that set the very same due dates for licensing the vote counts and fixing court cases, all of which fall within 30 days of the election, according to the National Conference of State Legislatures. However, 8 Indiana, Iowa, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, Tennessee, Texas and Virginia require that disagreements surrounding the choice of governmental electors be fixed in time to fulfill the safe harbor deadline, the NACL's website says. The next deadline that Trump deals with is the Conference of the Electoral College, whose 538 members convene in their respective states and really elect the president. Under a law passed in 1948, that vote occurs on the first Monday after the second Wednesday in December, which this year is December 14th. William and Mary Law professor Rebecca Green recently told CNN that the Electoral College Act which produced the safe harbor due date is significantly complicated and leaves a lot of gaps. Ohio State Law professor Edward Ned Foley, a professional in election law, informed CNN that he considered the December 8th due date optional, but insisted the December 14th deadline was a real difficult stop because of the legal requirement for electors to fulfill and vote. I take a look at the claims, legal action team Trump has actually taken during the election. Former Federal Election Commission lawyer Adav Nodi told Milwaukee's Fox 6 that there's really no factor to believe that the December 8th date is going to present any trouble, even in the states that are carrying out states. Nodi, now Senior Director of Trial Litigation and Chief of Staff at the Nonpartisan Campaign Legal Center, likewise kept in mind that courts were proficient at dealing with election cases extremely rapidly. Even courts that normally take a very long time to hear cases can handle election cases within a matter of days, he said. Trump has yet to score a significant court triumph over recently's election and suffered his latest setback on Wednesday, when a judge dismissed his project's libel match over an op-ed posted on CNN's site last year. In the column, network contributor and former FECT basic counsel Larry Noble suggested, the Trump project examined the potential dangers and advantages of again looking for Russia's assistance in 2020 and has actually chosen to leave that option on the table. Georgia federal judge Michael Brown ruled that project did not adequately plead that the statement was released with real malice however said the fit could be modified and refiled by the end of the month.